Hello, I'm Dr. Sita Ramamurthy Pal, and today I'll be talking about multiple pregnancy, mainly twins. What are twins? Basically, twins where there are more than one pregnancy. So you can have twins, you can have triplets, quadruplets. Now, usually, twins is more common because either naturally you can conceive twins when you have a family history, or if you have had assisted reproduction like IVF or IUI then usually, many times, you have twins. Now, why is twins important? Because obviously there is more than one pregnancy, one more than one fetus inside, and the, the issue is not that we have to look after two fetuses rather than one. But more importantly for twins, it is the what we call is the type of placenta, that is the chorionicity, which determines what these fetuses will be at risk or not. So if you think there are two X sperms and two eggs, they separately conceive, that we call it as, as dizygotic, which means they're completely separate. But if it is one sperm and one egg it forms, and then after it after it unites or after it's, the zygote is formed, after that if it divides, then it is something called a monozygotic twins, and that will depend upon what time that division occurs. So you have different types of monozygotic twins, which were the Twins which share the same placenta can be at increased risk. So if the two placentas are different, that means each fetus is separately there in each sac, as we call it. They don't share any placenta. Each placenta is separate. So they go on their own, they grow on their own, and each fetus has its own risk. But in something called a monochorionic diamniotic placenta, where the placenta is the same, they share the same placenta, but they live in two different sacs that is monochorionic diamniotic. Here it is very important because they share the placenta. Sometimes one baby will get a major share of one placenta and the other baby will get a smaller share. So there might be problems that, you know, they're not getting enough food or unequal food. So the growth might affect one baby and that might cause problems. So these things have to be detected very early in the pregnancy because once you miss the boat in the first three months, then you will not be able to pick up the signs which tell you whether you know there are separate uh, placentas or they're sharing the placenta that is a monochorionic. So which means that the chorionicity, the type of placentation has to be determined between the 11 to 14 weeks because you can predict or you can tell whether it is monochorionic or dichorionic up to the range of 100% between the, in the first three months. So if you have diagnosed as twins, please go and call, you know, have the scan and make sure that you know what type of twins it is because that will determine which way your pregnancy will go because as I said earlier, if your twins are sharing the same placenta, that could mean that there could be problems. But if they're, even if they don't share the same placenta, these twins have to be monitored differently because we cannot routinely monitor them like a single pregnancy because the baby, the tummy will be, the, the abdomen will look bigger and we can't make, we cannot be sure whether these babies are growing properly. So these babies need to have an ultrasound every four or every two weeks depending on the type of placentation. So please be aware that twins is a higher risk than uh, single pregnancies and depending on the placentation, you can be at a lower uh, twin risk or a higher twin risk. Thank you. Uh-huh.